Today we're going to be looking at PAG 6.3, which is where we're investigating using thin layer chromatography to separate photosynthetic pigments. So to do this procedure, what we need to do first is just cover some leaves with propanone, taking care to not add too much. So we just want to cover the leaves with propanone. What we will then do um, is we will use a pestle and mortar to get a smooth pulp. What I'll then do is I get my pestle and mortar and I will grind the leaves up until I have a smooth pulp. When I think I've got a smooth pulp, I'm going to examine the liquid inside the mortar. If there is no free liquid at all, I am going to add more propanone. If the liquid is not a dark green, I am going to use another leaf and grind that until I have a smooth paste. So we keep grinding away with our pestle and mortar until this is at an appropriate consistency. Now that I have ground up uh, my paste, what I need to do is now filter this through. So we take some filter paper, we fold it in half, fold it again, and then we open it up into a cone shape, put this into our funnel, which we'll then put into our small tubes. I will then take my pestle and mortar and I will pour the liquid into that filter paper and we'll wait for that to filter through into the tube at the bottom. So this is now filtered through and you can see that we have collected a small bit of liquid at the bottom there. We don't need a huge amount because we'll only be putting a very small drop onto our TLC plate. So what we'll now do is we will draw a pencil line onto our TLC plate. So we need to very carefully get our TLC plate that is here. And what I will do is I will draw a pencil line along the bottom. And we always do a pencil line so that that does not run with the liquid. This will then be our starting point. So using a ruler, we'll draw our pencil line across the bottom. Once our pencil line is drawn, we are then going to use um, capillary tubing or a micro pipette to put a very small spot in the centre of the pencil line. So we've got capillary tubing here. We we'll use that to get a very small dot in the centre. We will wait for that to dry and then we will put another spot on top of that. get my liquid, put my capillary tubing in, and I will do a very small dot in the centre of the pencil line. I will then wait for that to dry, and then I will add another spot, and we'll keep doing this until it is almost black on the line. very dark spot of colour. We'll now need to set up our chromatography tank. We just need to put a very small amount of our extraction and developing solvent into the bottom of this. So we take the lid off and then just put a little bit there at the bottom so that it is below the pencil line and below the spot that we have just put in. What we can then do is place our TLC into our developing fluid, pop the lid on top and leave that and wait for it to develop. Now it runs quite quickly, so if I hold this up to the camera, we can see that it's already running up and we can see a range of different colours that are starting to form as the different pigments separate out. So what we'll do is we'll leave this here until the 
solvent has reached nearly the top of the TLC plate and then we will remove that and we can then start to analyse the TLC that we have got. So having left it to run, we can now see that the solvent front is very close to the top. So it's time for us to take it out. So we'll just use some forceps to take our TLC plate out. And then what we'll do is I'll place it down next to a ruler so that we can then do some measurements. And we'll take a photo so that we can come back to this at a later date and do a whole range of measurements from there. So as you can see here, I've now drawn with a pencil line the solvent front and that will help us calculate our RF values. To calculate the RF value, you need to measure the distance from the starting line to each of the individual pigment lines. You then divide each of those values by the distance between the starting line and the solvent front. This will give you an RF value between 0 and 1 and can be used to work out each of the different pigments that you have inside your leaf.